So I'm founder and CEO of Medrio. We're uh, cloud computing for clinical trials. We've been around for 14 years. Uh, we're 200 people spread across, across the globe, and we've supported 275 products that have gotten to market approved by the FDA. Front and center was everything was broken. <laughs> so we had lots of things that had worked for a long time, uh, but as we were growing 30% uh, a year, which means over two to three years, the company's doubling and the processes and other things are much more than doubling because it's that gets complex on an ex exponential basis. So we knew that everything we were doing, even the stuff that was working was uh, broken or it was gonna soon be broken. And we needed to bring in a, a process and uh, experience that would help us to scale it rather than figure it out on our own. Well, I'll start with personal. Personal is the level of burden on my shoulders of owning everything and seeing all these fires raging every time uh, I come into the office uh, is just a radical change. So now uh, we have even, we all of course still have problems, but we have something in place that's trying to address those problems. So it goes from the hero model, I'm fixing everything to we have process and we have teams and responsibilities assigned. In terms of the results of the company, we've continued to grow at the same pace, but that's every year, meaning the denominator is bigger every year, so the absolute growth numbers are much larger every year. So I hired one executive just before hiring Freescale, and he told me six months in, it's the best decision that I'd made as a CEO. <laughs> so, uh, meaning his relationship with me and what he saw is how we were running the company was, uh, we needed work. Uh, and we, so we didn't have regular cadence, for example, on how we were meeting as an executive team. We didn't have uh, clarity in how we're running our own meetings, let alone how we're gonna roll that out to the rest of the company. Uh, I think number one is, is you have to be deliberate about things. So everybody wants a great culture, for example, but okay, now you wanna go do that, but what are you actually gonna do and how are you gonna operationalize that? That's a much harder question than we wanna have an open culture where people are communicating. It's like, okay, how are you gonna, how are you gonna know if that's working? So the Freescale gave us very concrete, specific things we could do. So for example, EMPS. So we're gonna have our employee net promoter score, which is gonna tell us how do those employees feel about their manager? So rather than me anecdotally trying to figure that out, we have a process, a very concrete, specific process to address that. Don't tell my board because I should have all of this mathematically defined uh, because usually we do. Uh, we haven't actually formally modeled it, but the, when you think of it, it's just very easy to see that it's uh, easily 10x, maybe it's 50x a time the investment because you think about the time that you save in running meetings. Concrete example of running one-on-ones where 50% of it was just an update to me about what was happening, translation, a pitch to me and how well that person is doing. Uh, is a complete waste of time. And if you count that that half an hour every week between the two of us, that's really expensive, really fast, times all the people that work for me, times all the people that are working with those people. I, I, I think the thing you should, the, you should be worried about is ask yourself, are you ready to take the input? And really take it. Uh, because it's one thing to listen to someone, but, but they're not your boss. So if you're not gonna really own it and actually implement it, then it has no value. So if you think that your process is good enough, you think what you're doing is okay, then, then definitely don't do it. But uh, my default was the opposite. My default was I'm gonna do everything they tell me unless I decide otherwise, and then you're gonna get value out of it. Yeah, I think this is about not just your business and, and, and not just yourself, it's also about the team. And that was a differentiator for me with Freescale. I talked to a lot of potential coaches and they said, we're gonna coach you, Mike, it's gonna be great. You're, you're gonna be the best CEO on the planet. You're gonna love your job. You're gonna all these things, but the you is singular, meaning you, Mike. Uh, and Freescale was saying, hey, your team is gonna do these things. And if you can get your team functioning, then you're happy and the company's happening. So that, happy. So that distinction between you as an individual versus your team, I think was a critical one.